Okay. Oh! Tools? Shit. He walk in. I guess. <laughs> Wait, I just said he won good. <laughs> and oh, I snitched. Yeah, All right. Unfortunately, I had a video. I'm recording the day you will see this is the day I'm recording it. I'm recording this on April 14th, and yesterday on four, April 13th, which I was supposed to upload a video, <gasps> the the file got corrupted. Both my face cam and my game recording got corrupted, and it just sucked. This isn't the first time it's happened. This has happened times before, but it just sucked when it happened. And I don't know why it happens. It's like my computer crashed. I don't know why it crashed, but it did. And it just, and last video was it, was, it was a pretty good video. Not much, I didn't do much in the video, but just a lot happened in the world. That was, just, it was pretty funny. It was pretty good. Um, of course, I'm going to go over everything, but man, yesterday was a tough day. It did not start off very well at all. So it really does suck when that happens and you lose a lot of footage and it just, I don't know. We're here today. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, I'm going to get you guys caught up because like I said, not a lot happened, but I am going to get you guys caught up. So first things first, I did get a new horse. I'll show that. It is, uh, I think, an Arabian horse. It's a, an elite, if I'm correct. I gotta study it first. Don't even have to study. The name is Eclipse. So Orion, yeah, a black Arabian horse. Yes. Um, name is Eclipse. Last horse was named Orion. So I'm kind of just keeping like the space thing going. Kind of like it. So um, also, let me get you caught up on the actual story. All right. So we met. We met back up with Mr. Miller, who was at the mayor's party, and we met up with two guys. Rainfall and Eagle's Eyes. Basically what happens is, basically what is happening is they have land that's being re retaken by I think the government or by Leviticus Cornwall and some other people because there's, they're, they're saying there's oil underneath their land that they can take. Um, and what they want us to do is steal the documents so then they can't do that. Um, so basically what we do is we go meet up with Eagle's Flies and we go steal the documents. He blows something up so then we can escape. And I mean, that's basically it. I didn't do much last episode. Like I said, it was mainly just a lot. What mainly what happened was just interactions, funny interactions in the world. I fought, I took on seven guys at once by myself. Hold on, pause. That sounds wild, but I did. I beat seven guys at once. I know, I know it sounds unrealistic, but I did it. Um, and like I said, I also got a new horse. So like I said, not a lot happened in the last episode story-wise. Does really suck that I lost the footage, but we're here today. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna stop running my mouth, and we're just gonna get right to it. How have you been, Arthur? I've been all right, Mr. Swanson. Okay. You seem well, Reverend. Yes. Well, maybe I've been okay before, oh, but then that's, that's great. I make a fool of myself uh -huh. again. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying so to talk. I. I'm trying to talk to How Sadie. You doing, Thank Mrs. you. Adler? Fuck away from me. How are you? Been quiet. What's so good since looking? I well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Right. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. We're just going right above her. She can still hear us. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll hey. ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. Then let's bring Sadie. I say Lenny. Okay. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What's that? What is that? What the fuck? Oh! What the 
what have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody oh shit, they found us! Our Frisco boys are coming! Damn. 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 That's tough. I don't care though. I literally said when um when Sean died, in that video, I literally said, why is Kieran still alive? And die for. How awful for us. How the fuck is how the, how the hell is Kieran alive? How is Kieran alive and Sean is dead? That ain't even fair. That, that's not even fair, bro. How come he alive? He wasn't even part of the group when we first started. We took that Odristical nigga just to because. But you're telling me he alive over Sean? I literally said, how is Kieran still alive? Like, well, how is this nigga still alive? How is he surviving? Well, I see he's not. He has no significance anymore. He is very much dead. And it's funny because uh, Susan, when we went to go say Tilly, literally just talked about, where's that Kieran boy? I haven't seen him in the longest. There he is, dead as hell. Gone. Now, you don't see me complaining. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, as long as it ain't, like, as long as it ain't Lenny, Hosea, um... I mean, I know John doesn't die. I'm not worried about that. He's in the fucking first. This is a prequel, so he's in the first game. So I know he doesn't die until the first game. But I know as long as Lenny, Hosea, Sadie, and I think those just those three. As long as they don't die, I think I'm chilling. Ain't nobody else I can think of at the top of my head right now. I may be missing a character, but Lenny, Hosea, and Sadie are the three characters that I like the most right now. So as long as they don't die, I'm chilling. Take him out though. Oh yeah, he gone. Got him. This way. This way. And yeah, we gonna have to move out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold your ground. What a start to the episode. Crazy. We need your gun down there. Need my gun down there. I think I'll be just great up here. Look at the way I'm taking him out. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was piecing him up. That's my bad. <laughs> hey, why aren't they shooting so fast though? Hey, ba ba ba. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Where's dynamite? Dynamite! 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 Fall back to the house. Falling back! What the hell? Run! Got him! <laughs> what in God's name is going on? We're overrun! Get them doors barricaded! Let's go. Push! I don't think a cabinet's gonna stop him. Okay. Good. Now, everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! It's everyone accounted for. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. He said he thinks. We'll make sure. I think. I always said that Kieran lost his head. That's Mr. Sure. Sandler. She's yeah. still out there. Cover me. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting Sadie. Sadie! Let my old girl go. Oh, she got it. Oh, she got okay. Yes, ma'am. She got it. Why didn't you get inside? It's, 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 can you hear? all this. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Okay, Help. let's go. Go back. We need you in the hat. Oh shit! Sadie, oh, no, get down. Don't. Oh, die, girl! Be careful! I just said I don't want you to die, because if you die, I'm gonna be mad. I ain't care about Kieran. I care about you. Gonna be a lot of shooting again. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um. 
Let's go. Woo! Are we okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm uh, sorry. Poor kid. I feel bad. Mr. Swanson, would you like, take this boy? And damn, say he bloody as hell. Near, but not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. We need Pierce, to get out of here. Scrimshaw, already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Mm. Comb O'Driscoll. That Ugh. man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Yeah, we do. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. This man crazy. Shall we? Yep. Like, I feel bad for Kieran. Like, he went out a bad way. They chopped his head off, gouged his eyes out. That's kind of fucked, not gonna lie. Then they had himself carry it. It's fucked. But he just had no significance to me. I'm sorry. I just don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not gonna be mad as mad Kieran, as I was about Sean. The poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. Yeah, unfortunate. He chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. Yeah. The whole place gives me the creeps. Where are we gonna move next? Oh wait, did we already move? Are we, no, no, there's no way we moved already. Oh, we did move. No, we didn't, I'm lying. I'm stupid, sorry. Oh, there you All right, walk. boys. Come on, keep walking, you're late. A couple of days late. in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave, forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. What's that? So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this oh, place is. Oh, we're robbing it got now. Money. Come on. Oh, we're just going for it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember. Just give me your money. Your money. money. It ain't Don't worth dying. Just you. give me your money. Thank you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Where the hell's the safe? Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. There's, yeah, there's nothing. Barely anything. Dutch. There's almost none here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's that greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. We gotta get the hell out of here. Follow me, gentlemen. Yes. Go now. Go. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. No, we're gonna be shooting cops. Hold them on, ah. fellas. Look out! Oh. Damn, did you see the bullets go through that guy? Or is this a double action revolver? Slow us down. Slow us down? Slow this thing down! I'll try. Uh oh. The thing's broke. Hold on! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Ouch. We gotta get the hell out of here. You okay, Dutch? Sure. Just... <laughs> 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 
This is not my gun. Why do I have a double action revolver? Lenny, go round. Hurt? Yeah, I'm okay. Ball and Lenny. I'm right behind you. I, I'm right behind you. Let's go, Lenny. Move. Move, motherfucker. Arthur, what are you doing? Run. Let's go. You all right, Dex? I won't lie. I've been better, son. Lenny, keep it out. Of course. Shit. Oh, stay in here, too. We can't let them follow us. Don't damage that wagon. We need a way out of here. I won't miss this next time. Yes, you will. I don't want a double barrel shotgun. What the hell's the hold up? Go, go, go. Got him. Brain a dick. Head for that wagon. Double barrel shotgun. Take it. You okay, Doc? Took a real bang on the head back then. I'm seeing free of everything. You stay down. And I'll hold them on. They're chasing us. Jeez. That motherfucker's about to go flying. Take them out. Looks like they ain't giving up yet. I got it. I got it. Damn it. Bitch. Damn. They blocked the road. Hold on. Use this. Dio, oh, I was just about to use that. I was about to take dynamite. <laughs> Eat this, bitches! I definitely didn't even shoot that, but okay. It's the law. That'll do it. We're through. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Jeez, man. Oh my goodness, that was I crazy. Think we're clear. We did all that. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't well, miss yeah, we're barely any money. You know, you're a good kid. He is a good and kid. we each got $15. Wow. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. We got $15.25. Like yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He, he saw don't you want a... the likes of you. Yeah, he saw you as a threat. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? I'm guessing we're gonna go kill Angelo Bronte. We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Really? Jose agrees. Really? Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. You did, Just Lenny. wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. What the hell? So, what's up, Dutch? I think oh, you what's get up, the Jose? deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? A deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. Why this is there? about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. 
Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. You better be. Yeah. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Oh, the few, if you re say so. Recently you've been wrong. Down, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. All right. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can take a fucking bag. Monte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. All right, let's go. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. Uh. Best move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? It matters a lot. We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I'm sorry. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small-minded? <laughs> if you'd rather like we that. break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. All right. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. Cool. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. The hell did you do now, this? Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay okay. for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Let's go. Not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. That makes me feel oh, so now, much better. Arthur? It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. 
Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. Right. And stay on the higher ground. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. All right. Ain't nothing in it. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. <laughs> Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What, do you mean? what is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Huh? What you talking Fantastic. about? Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. All right. We really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. I, I reckon we shouldn't. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. But that's what? where the just the, keep your eyes open. But that's where the gators just went. They just went this way. What? This ain't fucking the mystery gang, nigga. Why we gotta split up? Find and look for clues. Yeah, I was like, let me get a gun out. Fuck this shit. I don't care about shooting no fucking gator. Cues! Over here! Over where? That must be him. Where the fuck are you? Are you in the Hello? fucking tree? Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. There's a monster? Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Oh. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Okay. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. Oh. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. You're not shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Need a cannon? Where the fuck is Arthur going? Okay, just wa waddling to a tree. I got the scare! It's over here! Stop! There you go. I got it loose. Go. Good man. Someone go get this right. shit snitched. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. I ain't gonna snatch guns. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Oh. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Tree stump? Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. It won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Okay. Oh! Jules? Shit. He won't <laughs> kill. <laughs> I guess <laughs> the way Arthur said, he won king. <laughs> and okay, snitched. Arthur will go. I'll 
Well, quick. What do you mean go? Arthur. Son of a bitch. Uh, that nigga is gone. That man is gone. I'm coming. I'm coming, Jules. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, that motherfucker gone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. I'm shooting it. Oh. Shit. Where'd he go? I shot it. That nigga gone. He gone. He just got his shit snitched. Coming. Better not get snatched again. All right. I got you, son. Son of a bitch. I got you. Oh, God, no. Got you. Shoot something. Hurry up, oh. oh, his leg. He don't look behind me. <laughs> oh, God, no. Please, that thing huge. Come on, Come on, take him. Quickly. Woo. Come on, shoot it. Is that Boom, 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 boom. That's hard work. You're going to be all right, Jewel. Just hold on. It's coming right for us. Yo, know, fuck this little nigga. Jeez, Dynamite, bitch, eat dick. Oh, God. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get snatched up like that. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I got it. I was like, yeah, I got it. Got it with the dynamite. What's it gonna do? This motherfucker snatched me the fuck up. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. I thought he was going to take me again. You're going to be okay, son. You're going to be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. <laughs> There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of all oh, worries. Oh shit! Look who's back! God damn it! Put every bullet you got in here. You know what? Fuck you, motherfucker! I'm cheating. Pick one of these. Pop up. I can't mark it. Ah, son of a bitch. No point of did I? Don't let him get any closer. I hear it. Okay. I think it's had enough. I don't think it has. Jesus, can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. No problem. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm Hell gonna head nah. back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. 
I'll see you soon. Be safe. You too. You got muscles out here. Yeah, I see. Well. Oh, what the fuck what kind of transition was that? The fuck? Oh, we're back. Oh, we just set the campfire. Okay. Set this bitch down. Holy shit. That was crazy. That was fucking crazy. All right, I think I'm going to end this episode here. What a wild one. Just wants to get crazy. Kieran's dead. That not upset me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If your favorite character was Kieran, were you even playing the game? I'm sorry. Kieran just had no significance. We took the nigga. I damn near wanted to shoot the nigga when we first got him, but we couldn't. I wanted to put him down because... Why not? I mean, he was at O'Driscoll. We don't like O'Driscoll's around here, them dirty fucks. So, I didn't even want him. He became part of the game. He became pretty cool. He saved my life. So, I was okay with him. I was chilling with him. See, he got just murdered like that. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of upsetting. Like, it's like, damn. That's tough. Damn. I feel bad for you. Damn. Whoop! And you just move on. Call it a day. I mean, he got it bad. I'm not going to lie. Got his head chopped off. Eyes gouged out. But he had it coming. I'm sorry. It, it, like, yeah. Sorry. So, and then we also did that big ass gator shit. Yeah, never doing that again. So, um, seems like the next episode we are going to try to kill Angelo Bronte or sneak into his mansion and cause some mischief. Um, and it seems like a lot of more stuff. We're also going to try to rob a bank soon. So, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, the characters I care about right now are, of course, Arthur. But, I mean, he's the main character right now, so he's not dying anytime soon. Um, so we got Arthur. Oh, I'm not worried about that. So we got Sadie, Javier, Charles, Hosea, and Lenny. Those are the only characters I'm like, ah, that I care about these characters, and I don't want them to die. Anybody else can kind of go. Maybe Uncle, only because he's goofy, he's funny. But other than that... Everybody else can kind of go. I mean, I know John's not going to die. Uh, Abigail's not going to die. Ab yeah, Abigail's not going to die. And Jack's not going to die. Because they're all in Red Dead Redemption 1. And since this is a prequel, we already know some things. But if you don't know that, I apologize. But you should know that by now. So, You're just another um, crawling in the Luckily, pile. this episode did not crash. Thank God. Hopefully, it doesn't crash as I'm doing this outro. I'm just going to try to get this done fast. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff if you're new. Um, I'll have more Red Dead content coming soon. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.